This is Nitro Game Injection. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Nitro Game Injection. I'm your host, Kyle JCRB. Hope you guys are doing all right this fine Sunday evening. That's right, I'm a day late. But I'm here at the same time, so <laughs> hey, it still counts. We'll ignore it. And tomorrow's a holiday, at least in the United States, so uh, it, it, still, it still works. <laughs> anyway... Purpose is saying that my chair is going to explode if a bullet gets near it. And hey, I wasn't here yesterday, so this is great for me. Okay, cool. Yeah, yesterday was not a great day, so... Decided to push it back for one day and do it tonight instead. And uh, this episode is all about... As you heard, it's starting us off there. You heard Uncle and the Bacon doing something not from the Commodore 64. That was 007... Remixing GoldenEye 007 from the album Tribute Album 64, which is a big, a enormous uh, tribute album to the Nintendo 64. Not to be confused with the Commodore 64, which we did last week. That was last week's theme. Now it's N64, except we're only doing one game from the N64, and that game is, in fact, GoldenEye, which is celebrating its 20th anniversary, like two days ago, maybe, or a week ago. Maybe it's been a week. Either way, it's very recent. So I'm doing a show all about GoldenEye. GoldenEye Remix is out the wazoo going on this evening. Tribute Album 64 is a patient corgi release. You can find it at tributealbum64.bandcamp.com or patientcorgi.com. And that is, in fact, corgi as in the dog. C-O-R-G-Y C-O-R-G-I, not Y Wow, that was terrible Anyway Let's go ahead and get into some uh, more GoldenEye tunes, shall we? That's what this episode's all about I do love me some GoldenEye It's a classic game It's uh, pretty much set the stage for first-person shooters on consoles 
going forward. Like, it's the model everybody, everybody else uh, looked at when doing uh, first-person shooters, at least after it came out on consoles. So, it is uh, a legendary game, and I think well-deserving of its own episode. And thankfully, enough people have remixed music from it to uh, warrant an entire episode. So... Let's go ahead and get into this first track from Arc Impulse from their self-titled album Arc Impulse. Uh, they did a remix of The Dam from Goldeneye. You can find this album at arc-impulse.bandcamp.com. I did a listening party of this one toward the beginning of the year, so you may have heard this before, but that's okay because it's freaking awesome regardless. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is Nitro Game Injection.
That right there was a classic one from Rotaka, which sounded like it was going to break into Splatoon for a second, which if I didn't know any better, I might think it was going to. <laughs> uh, but I know that song's from like 2005, 2004, maybe. So well before Splatoon even existed. That was Run Away With Me. Another one from 007. That one's featured. That was featured on VG Mix way back in the day. You can find it now at vgmixarchive.com. Before that, we had Family Jewels, or Family Jewels 7X, as I have him named here. I think he's just Family Jewels now. He's dumped the 7X since, uh, I guess, uh, I guess he's not a fan of Avenged Sevenfold anymore. No, I, I'm sure he is. He's just, you know, branching out on his own, branding, doing some proper branding. I don't know. Things happen. People change their name. That was an arrangement of Caverns from Goldeneye. And starting us off there was Arc Impulse with The Dam. Going to keep things rolling here musically. Don't have a whole heck of a lot to talk about on this Sunday afternoon. Hope you guys are doing all right. Uh, Purvis is making Blues Brothers references in the chat, I think. Not 100% sure what he's doing, but I'm not taking it from him, and I realize that it is important, so you, you can have it, Purvis. It's all good. It's all good, Purvis. Just do your thing, and I'll be over here doing mine. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to some more YouTuber GoldenEye covers. This one comes from DSC. It's simply called Depot. Keep it here. This is NGI.
That right there was another VG Mix classic from Strike 911. That was uh, from 2003, actually, and it was called Unseen Encounter. Yet again, as always, from GoldenEye007. And as always, you can find that at VGMixArchive.com. That's where you can find a lot of old VG Mix tracks. Not a lot of them, but... Uh, well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, we've... Basically, a bunch of us assembled a collection of as many VG Mix tracks as we could. Because I know I had a bunch, and a whole bunch of other people also had a bunch, so we all kind of pulled our resources together. And thanks to the awesome uh, hosting of Sergeant Rama over at The Sauce, he threw together uh, VG Mix Archive and kept, those, uh, kept a lot of those remixes up for posterity, which is good. Because I don't know if VG Mix is ever going to come back. I think I think pretty much everyone's given up on it ever being a thing again, which is which is sad. Very sad. I would like to see VG Mix make a return, but you know, we're we're kind of at a point where it's not entirely necessary. Uh, back when it was new, back in like 2002, 2001, 2003, those era, that era, 
There was not a lot of places to host audio on the internet. Particularly for free. It was just, bandwidth was expensive and there was a lot less of it back then. Or at least uh, there was a... They tried. They tried to play it off as like they were. Le there was less back then. There probably really wasn't. But of course, internet speeds were a lot slower and blah blah blah. So, VG Mix had more of a use back then, I think, as a host for kind of a place for everybody to put their be able to put their music. Now there's like thousands of places to do that. So VG Mix is a little. A little bit outmoded, I think, by the modern internet, which is a shame. There's still lots of good stuff there, though, so be sure to check out vgmixarchive.com, because it's well worth your time. Uh, before that, we had Careless Juja, with another one from the Patient Corgi album, Tribute Album 64. That what track was simply called Golden Eyes. And then starting us off there was a remix of Depot by DSC, YouTube guitarist extraordinaire. Be sure to go check him out on YouTube because he does some pretty cool stuff. There will be a link in the show notes, of course, and uh, all that other good stuff. So check it out. In the meantime, though, we're getting into this week's very special segment. I've got two special segments this week, actually. This first one is a soundtrack spotlight. Now you may be thinking, Soundtrack Spotlight? What are you going to do, just play tracks from the original game? And the answer to that is no. No, I am not. <laughs> I am going to play something a little bit different for you guys. Uh, I don't know how many of you have been keeping up with the Source mod community. The Source engine, of course, being what uh, Valve used to build. Half-Life, Team Fortress, Portal, and other various... Uh, Valve games. Well, there's a, a mod for Half-Life 2, a source mod, using uh, using the source engine called GoldenEye Source. I don't know if it's still in active development, to be honest. I have not kept up with it in a long time, but uh, I do know that it had a pretty awesome remix soundtrack from uh, Soul Signal, who you might recognize from Overclock Overclocked Remix, and Basstronics, who I don't know, but does some pretty awesome work nonetheless. So I wanted to kind of spotlight this uh, Source Mod soundtrack. You can find it, find out more, and find the uh, find the soundtrack at uh, GE. GESHL2.com Looks like the website is still up, so... Uh, wow. They even just did a, uh... Did an update regarding the 20th anniversary of GoldenEye, so... Looks like it's got more... It's been, uh, in active development still. Awesome! So be sure to go check it out. There's a download section there. If you hit downloads and then soundtrack, you will find this soundtrack... I think there's like a whole new there's been a some new additions a lot of new additions since I uh, <laughs> since I've played with the mod but that's okay let's go ahead and listen to uh, a selection of six tracks three from Basstronics and three from Soul Signal and uh, I'll get back to you this is the GoldenEye Source official soundtrack it's available for free at GESHL2.com. Keep it here. This is Nitro Game Injection.
right there was a selection of tracks from GoldenEye's Source. You just had Bass Tronics with The Surface. Before that was Soul Signal with the Genus Control Bass. Before that was Bass Tronics with Caverns. And then Soul Signal with Classic Dossier. Bass Tronics with Runway. And Soul Signal starting us off there with a Classy Deathmatch. I don't think a lot of those, when I played the game before, were being used because the levels didn't exist. And there's also a few levels that were not originally multiplayer levels being used in uh, GoldenEye Source, but... And this was a long time ago I was doing this, so... I don't even know if there's like a single player campaign now, because when I played before it was only online deathmatch. It has been years since I've touched GoldenEye Source. I should probably go back and check it out because it looks like it's still in active, active development and a lot of stuff is moving along really well. So I definitely suggest checking out that project. It's free if you have a, a Source Engine game. So hop on Steam and check it out. Let's keep moving with the GoldenEye goodness. This next one comes from the band Distorted Evolution, who seems to have disappeared off the internet. They, they are kind of gone-ish, it looks like. Which is a dang shame. But they released a couple albums, you know, to varying degrees of quality. They covered some interesting stuff that hardly ever gets covered, like they did the Sonic CD intro like the the bios boot up music which is pretty cool no one like i don't think anyone's ever covered that before so this is from their album super force from goldeneye 007 this one's called negative bunker keep it here this is ngi
for England, James?
Hope you liked rocking out, because that's what that block was all about. That was On Being Human with the GoldenEye 64 medley from their album, The Humans Are Coming. You can find that one over at onbeinghuman.bandcamp.com. Definitely want to recommend that one. You, you really need to go check out On Being Human if you haven't already. Because they're really freaking good. Really freaking good. Before that, speaking of really freaking good, we have Prince of Darkness and Chris Feener coming together to do Bond's Batteries covering Goldeneye with a bit of Sonic and Knuckles Flying Battery Zone mixed in there. The track was called the Bond's Batteries, which I think I said already. Either way. That was originally a Dwelling of Duels entry way back in sometime in the distant past. <laughs> Fairly distant past. On a relative scale, I suppose. Like five, to, five, five, seven years, maybe. I don't know. I didn't look it up. But that's from uh, Prince of Darkness' album Puds Duds, which you can find over at uh, TonyDickinson.BankHemp.com or TonyDickinson.net. And starting us off there was Distorted Evolution from their album Superforce. That was Negative Bunker. All those from Goldeneye, of course, because every song is from Goldeneye this episode. All right. Well... You might have noticed that the background music's actually changed to something from the game, although a, an arranged version of the song from the game. So that means we're getting into this week's Source Tune Spectrum. We're going to give you a whole spectrum of remixes of a single Source Tune from one game, and that game being Goldeneye. And that song being the Antenna Cradle. Or just Cradle. I don't know which it's called, but either way, it's the final level of the game, of the main story mode. It has a great song. Lots of remixes of it, because it's so good, I think. Or, or for some reason. Either way, it works really good as a rock song, because that's what most of these are. It gets rocked out. <laughs> so, And of course, a little bit of trivia for you guys who didn't know. Air Cibo Radio is a show, or the station the internet radio station that I used to do this show on. And uh, Arecibo Observatory is where the final uh, scene and level of GoldenEye, both the game and the movie, take place. So the Arecibo Observatory as uh, where the inspiration for Arecibo Radio came from. Naming-wise. So, fun fact there for you. I don't know if it's that fun, but it is a fact. <laughs> I thought it was nice to mention, you know. Shout out to the old Air Cibo radio crew. Uh, unfortunately, I think Overcoat's the only one still really, truly active, sadly. But, hey, at least he's still around. Excuse me. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into some remixes of the Antenna Cradle theme from GoldenEye. This first one is from Carbohydro M. It's called Let the Pain Out. Don't go away. This is Nitro Game Injection.
And that is this week's Source Tune Spectrum, the antenna crater from GoldenEye. And that brings us to the end of the show. But before we get into that, let me give you a rundown of what I just played. The last one you just heard was from Rich out of EB. It's simply titled Antenna Cradle. Before that was Soul Signal with a track from the GoldenEye Source official soundtrack that I played earlier. You know, I could have thrown that one in with the uh, soundtrack spotlight, but I figured, no, I want to play it with all the other uh Antenna Cradle remixes. That was Rocking the Cradle. Before that was Gal Metal with Cradle. The Plasmas featuring Flying Me with Licencia para Matar. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but that's alright. License to Kill, maybe? That might be it. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then Carbohydro M starting us off there with Let the Pain Out. The Plasmus track is another one from the uh, Tribute Album 64 release, put up by Patient Corgi. You can find it at tributealbum64.bandcamp.com. Carbohydram, of course, you can find all his awesome stuff at carbohydram.net. Gaum Metal is johnnyatma.com. Soul Signal. Uh, soulsignal.bandcamp.com is where you can find his stuff and Richard E.B. is on YouTube just search for his name you'll find it or you know all the links and stuff will be in the show notes alright well we are at the end of the show hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, trek through the remixes of GoldenEye in celebration of GoldenEye's 20th anniversary the game the game's like or the movie is like 22 <laughs> It was a weirdly, uh, oddly timed um, adaptation of the movie, considering the, I think, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies was either coming out or about to come out at the time of GoldenEye's release. It's a little awkward there, but that's okay. It still was, you know one of the most popular games on the N64 and one of the best sellers of all time. It didn't really matter. But, you know, kind of an odd timing for a licensed game. Regardless, I've got three tracks left to close this out. This first one is the one and only Overclocked Remix track that I'm playing tonight. A track called Creeper at the Train Depot from Black Panther. I want to say this one was from a while ago, but I could be wrong. Eh, from 2010, so it's been a while. And uh, after that, we got something from the band Quarter Circle Jab from their album number two. This one is simply titled Goldeneye, and it's about nine minutes long, so it's a huge medley of tracks. And then I have a little short bonus track that I'm tossing in here just for fun. So... Thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in to this episode of Nitro Game Injection. Hope you liked it. And I'll be back next week, hopefully on Saturday next time instead of on Sunday. But we'll see. I don't know what I'm doing next week. Maybe something cool. It is the Dreamcast anniversary, but I've already done, like, several Dreamcast shows. I really don't need to do any more, do I? <laughs> I don't know. It is actually the date... Uh, next Saturday is the date, 9-9, September 9th. The day and date of uh, the Dreamcast launch, in North America at least. So, maybe I'll do something for that. Anyway, <laughs> thanks everybody for tuning in. This has been the GoldenEye special of Nitro Game Injection. Uh, don't forget you can find archived episodes of this show and many others over at KNGI.org. We can also find uh, archived episodes on YouTube at youtube.com slash kylejcrb. Or you can find uh, archived episodes over on Facebook at facebook.com slash kngi network. There's all sorts of uh, cool stuff going on over there, so don't forget to like, follow, all that crap. You can find me at kylejcrb on Twitter. Send email podcast at kngi.org. All that fun stuff. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Patreon.com slash KNGI, by the way, if you like this show and want to support it monetarily. And you like the KNGI network and want to support that monetarily as well, because uh, the money goes to keeping both of these things, both of these ventures going. So thank you, everybody, who uh, 
contributes there. And thanks, everybody, who listens. Of course. I'll be back next week with something cool. Maybe it's Dreamcast-related. We'll see. Anyway, I will see you next time. This has been NGI number 280. It is September 3rd, 2017. I'm Kyle JCRB, and I'll see you next time.